Ang kwetyo. Ang tuturah pakah mato, kajam naka ni tek pisa naka. Hai neng pedal pitika jun te nom nang sapi nyak dan bai mato katang semrut ni dau jepuh. Nek jam ni som chui. ສົມອາຄຸນລູກພຽນຂ້ອຍມີແຕ່ປີສໍານວນທີ່ເຕັ້ນເລີຍມັນ <coughs> กางเงินลูกบาทอ่าคิวสัมพันธ์ชลาวิคิวสัมพันธ์ขอบคุณลูกลูกวิชลาตาลูกดังทาลูกคิวสัมพันธ์เมื่อจํานวนเดือนกล
Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, no Professor man, Chandler. I join your honours and my colleagues in thanking you for making the time and the trip to come here and assist the Chamber in finding the truth. Just by way of follow up to um, some of the questions that my colleague asked before we move on to the next uh, topic, um, I'd like to. Uh, show to you a couple of passages from your uh, book, Voices from S21. Um, and while I read the relevant ERNs, uh, perhaps my, my colleagues can uh, give those to you if you don't already have them. Um, the English ERN is 00192684. It, it should be, uh, Professor, it should be in the uh, in the small bundle you were given, because that bundle relates to this section. Um, the numbers in English should end on 684. Um, in French, it is 00357267, and in Khmer, 00191833. What I would like to do is read a passage from that page and then read another passage which relates and then uh, ask you a couple of uh, brief questions. Uh, and Your Honours, uh, with your permission, we will display this on the screen. Um, it is a passage from Voices from S21, uh, Professor Chandler's book that's already been discussed. The document number is IS 4.6. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the, the passage is very brief, Professor. Uh, it simply states, no document linking either Pol Pot or Ying Siri directly with orders to eliminate people at S21 has ever been discovered. Although the lines of authority linking S21 with the party centre in brackets Mo Ching Pak have been established beyond doubt. I'm really interested here in, in the concept of party centre. We will come back to the issue of S21. Um, and just if you could keep in mind that passage, I'll take you to another very short passage as well. Uh, this is in the same book at English ERN 00192694. French 00357278 and Khmer ERN 00191846. At this passage, Professor, you discuss the reporting by S21 to, its, uh, to the people that you saw as their uh, superiors, if you like. And the passage reads, the two men who ran Santabal reported directly to the collective leadership of DK, known as the Upper Organization, Ankalu, comma, the Organization, or Anka, or the Upper Brothers, in brackets, Bongkan Lu, to outsiders, and as the party center, in brackets, Mo Ching Pak, or leading apparatus, Kabal Masin, to members of the CPK. The party center was the nerve center of the country. Its membership altered over time, but its highest ranking members, who were also those most directly concerned with the operations of S21, Pol Pot, Nunchia, Tamok, Son Sen, and Ki San Pong, remained members throughout the regime and indeed into the 1990s. Uh, as you can see, Professor, both passages uh, relate to uh, a group of people you describe as the party center. Um, First of all, if I can ask you to expand on, on this particular term, party centre, Mo Ching Pak, and, uh, whether it, and, and whether it is similar, the same, or different from the uh, term you used earlier today, Kabal Masin. Um, the party center, <coughs> I think, referred particularly to the uh, to the central committee. That's how that was, but they never used that word. They called it the party center. Now, 
Kabamasin is just another name for it. That's the, 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 the mechanism that pushes things. I want to make a, 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 a correction to that passage, however, as we know from the, um, the Duke trial. Duke himself was not in touch with all these people. He was in touch only with Son San, and occasionally he testified with Nun Chia. So his, his connections with these other people, with the center, have not been defined. But I wrote the book, uh, that's, that's mistaken. I shouldn't have said that. He, he knew about the party center. He knew that. Son Sen and uh, Nguyen Chia were on the party center, so he said I reported to the party center when one of his interviews or whatever, but in fact, as we learned from the testimony, he just saw one or most two people. But yeah, I mean, the, the party center was, uh, <coughs> and when I said in the, in the other passage, the links between the party center and S21 were not established at the trial in 1979. That's why I used uh, have been established. In other words, since then, these links were built up. The, uh, the trial in 79, they linked S21 just to Pol Pot and Nguyen Suri, <laughs> links that have not proved very easy to make in later, later history. If I may, Mr. President, if I, if I may. We seem to, uh, to have a problem here. Uh, it appears that the gentleman, uh, and there's no criticism of, of the gentleman, uh, now is giving testimony based on uh, evidence that was provided uh, by uh, Doik in his trial and is now factoring that into his testimony. And I think that's part of the problem. The other problem that I saw earlier, which I was, I was going to point out at some point, I was waiting for the appropriate moment, is that he's indicated on numerous occasions today that he's looked at the closing order and he would appear to be now uh, drawing conclusions or making statements uh, based on what he has learned in the closing order as opposed to what he knew or what he's learned uh, during the course of his uh, historical analysis or documents. And based on that, I am somewhat troubled. Uh, perhaps the trial chamber, uh, because we now cannot unring the bell, uh, we cannot sort of delete that information that's in his brain, but perhaps the trial chamber could instruct the witness to tell us when he's relying on such information so that you may then be in a position to decide what weight, if any, to give to those portions of his testimony. I, think I'm, I, I hope I've been clear enough. Thank you. If, if I may respond. Your Honours, thank you. Um, all of the matters that my learned colleague raises um, can and, and I'm sure will be addressed at two junctures. The first is their cross-examination of the expert, and the second, of course, is their final submissions at the end of this trial. Um, this is not an opportunity for the defence to provide running commentary on the quality of the expert's opinions. They will be in a position to uh, test his credibility and test his sources. Um, on, the, uh, on Professor Chandler's references to the closing order in case one, if anything, I think it is of assistance, and I think the professor has been extremely diligent in specifying what sources he's relying upon. And of course, because as my colleague indicated, it's not a jury trial, your honours can uh, ascribe the appropriate weight to evidence, to opinions uh, that are based in part on closing order, uh, we can, and we will elucidate that as we go along. But I think all of these comments relate to what you might, uh, to the probative value which your honours might uh, give this testimony, which of course can be tested in cross-examination, and uh, is not appropriate, is not an appropriate basis for objections. Thank you. Oui, Monsieur le Président, simplement, si vous me le permettez, je voudrais faire une remarque parce que je pense que l'objection de notre confrère peut avoir un effet sur l'ensemble des questions de toutes les parties. Et euh, je crois que je 
je, je voudrais suggérer effectivement que l'expert précise à chaque fois euh, quand il répond si euh, ressort de ce qu'il a constaté à l'époque ou ce qu'il dit ressort de ce qu'il a pu lire par la suite. Je pense que cette simple précision dans ses réponses pourrait permettre de clarifier les choses et de savoir s'il fait euh, référence à ce qu'il a su au moment où il a écrit ses documents ou à ce qu'il a appris par la suite. Je me permets de faire cette remarque parce que je pense que nous allons avoir systématiquement des objections de ce genre et pas seulement au moment où les procureurs interviennent mais également au moment où nous interviendrons également. Merci.
ដោយមានរឿងមានការវាយកកកនេះសូមដែលគណៈពលមានរឿងមានការវាយកកនេះសូមដែលគណៈពលមានរឿងមានការវាយកកនេះសូមដែលគណៈពលមានរឿងមាន
sort of run to the S-21. But in fact, this was not one of the major concerns of the party center. This is a key point, I think. It was one of their concerns, but I think they were and, and their statements will reflect. Of course, they don't comment on S-21 anyway in public because it's a secret prison. But their comments were on agriculture and Vietnam and internal enemies and internal enemies ties into it. But basically, S-21 was one of the many things they paid attention to. And we tend to be a little bit dazzled by the hundreds of thousands of pages that we can examine, which is not true of other parts of the regime. And, and last question on that. Um, if, if I I may. May. You talked earlier about a, a pyramid-like structure, if you like, with a, um, a collective leadership at the top. Um, if we look at that, if we refer back to that pyramid, um, and I don't want to lead you here, I just want to hear your uh, expert opinion, um, where would you place uh, S21 and where would you place the CPK party center? If, if indeed you consider S21 to have been somewhere in that pyramid. Um, and you know, it doesn't matter. It was not part of the party center. I mean, it was, it was one of the many elements of the country that reported to either a member of the party center or in documents addressed the entire party center, whatever, different forms of communication. It was not. Uh, <coughs> I mean, Dick never attended these meetings. He was, by, he, was, he was a career communist, but he was not a member of the Standing Committee, the Central Committee, the Party Center. Uh, he knew some of these people personally, but he didn't. He was, he was not in contact with them. What, what I'm really getting at is, is whether or not there was, um, whether you consider that there was a relationship of uh, superior subordinates. Uh, that's the only way it could have worked. I mean, uh, uh, Dick was, you know, he was a very uh, subordinate person. He played his role very, very carefully and diligently. Thank you. Um, the last question on, on this uh, particular topic as a follow-up to uh, my colleague's questions. Um, you said that uh, Q. Sampan had replaced Dawn. Um, and we will uh, provide that footnote to you, so perhaps tomorrow we can come back to it. Um, are you able to uh, recall now what, what the role was that Q. Sampan inherited from Dawn, or would you rather come back to us tomorrow? Sorry. Uh, as chairman of 870, he, he supposedly inherited the duties. He said he didn't. He, is, he said he didn't do anything substantial in this job. Now, I don't, those are different kinds of evidence, obviously. Uh, but it's on public record that this change of appointments occurred. It's in his own autobiography. He mentions that he was, had this job, so it's not a secret. But what he did, uh, what he was told to do how the job may have changed when he took command, we have no idea. I can't, I can't speculate on that. And, and I, I, I hate to uh, ask one more question when I said that was the last question, but uh, only by way of clarifying, um, before we leave this topic for now, uh, when you say chairman of 870, given that you had indicated earlier in your view 870, I think you said was a if you like an address or a code, a reference uh, to a number of things, uh, um, including the, uh, I think you said party centre, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, when you say chairman of 870, could you describe what functionally what that uh, role was as you understand it? I've run into in the, um, I'm sorry if I, if I may ask you to just repeat for, for oh, yeah. uh, the, the way I've, I've, I've come to understand this better I must admit is through the closing order this is not stuff that I was concentrating on before but it seems to me the end of 870 the, I mean 870 was a code name actually for Pol Pot but on the other hand the office of 870 Munti from uh, Bombay uh, etc just up uh, manage the paperwork and the flow going in and out of the party center, going in and out of the lungs of the party, if you like. So this was an office job. The head of, uh, the head of the, but, but the, it's confusing because the, the head of the office could be, like, as you said, as it happened to Kusampan or Dun, but, but when I say the head of 870, that's Pol Pot, that's his name, that's his code name. It's a name he chose for himself. 
uh, and perhaps for the collective leadership also. That all these things overlap, this problem with, with the, uh, the definitions. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. It's uh, not so much an objection to the question, but a follow-up to what was discussed earlier with regard to the witness having read the closing order. I have uh, noted what Judge Cartwright has uh, stated as has ruled on this issue, but I do think it's important to verify while he's answering these questions whether or not he has read the underlying documents of the closing order, documents that were mentioned in the footnotes of the closing order, or whether instead he has just read the closing order as such and, and is relying uh, on the conclusion as reached by the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges. Uh, Needless to say, that's relevant because, because we take issue with, with those conclusions in the closing order. Uh, so I think uh, when answering these questions, the witness should be requested to clarify which, if any, underlying documents he has studied. Thank Merci, Monsieur le Président. Et pour ajouter à ce que vient de dire mon confrère, il serait peut-être intéressant de demander au témoin de quel ordonnance de clôture il parle, parce que tout à l'heure il a été dit que le témoin avait lu l'ordonnance de clôture du dossier 001, mais là, il semble que le témoin fasse référence à l'ordonnance de clôture du dossier 002. Je pense que cette précision devrait lui être demandée Thank you, Mr. President. I think um, I understand my, my friend's uh, concern, but frankly, what, what the expert is being asked to do is, is an impossible task. Um, the closing order has thousands of footnotes. And of course, all of us uh, understand and, and are familiar with it. The many cases, the documents uh, uh, cited in the footnotes, uh, also cited in, in the books written by the, by the experts. Um, Your Honours uh, recently uh, directed um, the experts uh, that he wasn't required to bring with him all of the materials that he reviewed in his preparation. Um, to now retroactively ask him to recall uh, which documents he read, I think it's just unreasonable. Um, there, there is a way of doing this. We can ask the expert as to what specific sources he recalls, um, and I can ask him what his knowledge was before the closing order was issued and what he knew then and how that has changed. But I don't think it's practical simply given the size of the closing order and the number of documents to expect the expert to Conduct a, uh, 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 simple an impossible task. If I just may respond to that very briefly, how can we then challenge if we don't know which particular document he's referring to from the closing order? I understood Judge Cartwright's ruling, which was the ruling of the bench, and I accept that. But we need to know exactly where in the closing order, what, at least what uh, footnote. And then we can at least, that would direct us to do our due diligence, but to say I read it in the closing order is, is terribly unhelpful and unrealistic for the prosecution to expect us to find the needle in the haystack. We don't want the haystack, we want the needle. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. 
just following up on, on, on that position, this is uh, basically what I want to say, so I'll keep my uh, comments short, but yes, we need to be able to verify the sources of knowledge of this witness, and again, he has stated that he has read the closing order, I think the first relevant question is, has he gone back to the source documents, and if so, did he go back to all of the source documents that are mentioned in the closing order, and I think Professor Chandler will be very uh, willing and capable to answer that particular question, I think that should be the starting point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. បាទពេលនេះអឺសូមជម្រាបជូនពាក្យគីថាងចេះដើម្បីដោះស្រាយបញ្ហានេះ <coughs> ក៏ត្រានៅបញ្ហាទាំងអស់នោះហើយនឹងសួរប្រជាក់លើបញ្ហានេះជាក្រោយនៅពេលដែលដល់វិញខ្លួនមានសិទ្ធិឬក៏
the alleged policy and enemies, and finally, communications within the regime. So it's an ambitious agenda, uh, um, but we'll try and uh, be as ambitious as possible. Um, we'll just wait for the microphone, please. If I could, uh, on some of the uh, statements we made before, I have not seen the questions that I've been posed today. I've had no way of preparing my responses with footnotes. I have not, if these questions have been mailed to me and I, had consult, I could come in here as a trained, not an expert, a trained witness to give the answers that the people are legitimately asking for, like, where did you know that? Did you read that? What footnote? I just, just read the question. The book is not, I can't rummage through the thousand pages to find, you know, and then see if I have read it. I have read many of those sources. I can't say specifically which ones today. I've read a lot of them before and since. Uh, so, I mean, the idea that, I mean, I can say if I got an idea that has changed my thinking, or change my opinions, that I got that from something subsequent to my original research, I probably should have said that more often. I, I, I hope to say it in the future. That's fair to say I did not write that, I read that. So, but to say that I should be able to cite a specific note with, without preparation for the questions I'm asked is, I, I just get unable to do that. And I can't see that I should be expected to say, oh, footnote 89, page 308, obviously. Why? I mean, that's, I, I'm, I don't mean to be silly, but I mean, it was just, see, it's, it's legitimate to an extent, but it's a, it's a demand that I'm unable to make, to me. Enough said, sorry. ຫນຶ່ງວັດໃນວິທີສາດໃນການຊ្លາຍຕອບໄດ້ບານບັນຊາຄືຊົມຫຼາຍສໍານວນຫນ້າເວງອອນໄລໄດ້ <laughs> ហើយនឹងឲ្យលោកឲ្យភាគីដែលពាក់ព័ន្ធនឹងបន្តសំណួរទៀតដែលជាវាងលោកមិនដឹងហើយហើយលោកនៅតែបន្តការធ្វើអ
footnote uh, 48 or whatever documents such and such, which would enable us to then double check and see whether in fact what the gentleman is asserting is in fact uh, supportive uh, of his position. That was, so I, I point this out, so we have been diligent. And I apologize for taking up the time to point this out, but I think the prosecution supported us on this position as well. Thank you. 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 Thank just, um, just to uh, confirm, I, I was indeed referring to that directive earlier when I was making the point that the expert uh, wasn't asked to bring all the documents with him, but there was, of course, um, a, a request that he made the list. Um, perhaps uh, we can check with the expert if he's been able to do that, um, or perhaps we can check if he received the communication. Yeah, I've, I've received that communication, and I, I must say I did not prepare the list of what I read, but I started, this is 10 days before I'm up here, uh, I started rereading as many of the things I could get access to quickly. Uh, <coughs> some of the uh, confession materials have come in later. I've got material that I'm starting to read now. I felt uh, that reading the closing order of case two, which is the one I've read, not the closing order, would, would be helpful for me to see the level of, of what people were saying here, they're not saying whether it's right or wrong, but the level of what's being said, what's been discussed. And so that was my task when I arrived uh, two days ago. That's what I spent my time doing, is reading that. Now, the remaining evenings of my time here, I'm going to go on to the primary documents that I have, a three big books of them, and I won't read them all, but I'll read what's necessary. And then again, I mean, when a question comes out from somewhere, where did you get your answer? I mean, that's going to be hard to say unless the question is given to me in advance. I prepare my answer in advance with the source at the bottom. Uh, that seems it, that's professional, but it's impossible to do for me to do that. Unless I'm here for a month. It would be a better way to proceed, but I'm sorry. Yep. Thank, thank you, Professor. Your Honours, um, there is a way uh, forward, if, if I can suggest. Uh, our examination will be largely based on documents. Um, many of them are Professor Chandler's uh, uh, writings, others are contemporaneous uh, documents uh, to the DK era. So uh, in, in most cases, uh, uh, we will be asking him to simply expand or opine on, on records that we will be putting before him. So perhaps we don't need to spend any more time on this at this juncture, and if need be, we can come back to it uh, tomorrow. That way of proceeding is, is I'd rather talk about things that I know rather than things that I'm just grabbing out of the, out of the air, basically. Thank you. Thank you. ແລະនេះដល់ពេលសំរមនឹងសម្រាក់ហើយសម្រាប់កម្មការថាបនាការថ្ងៃនេះអង្គជំរះប្រកាសសម្រាក់ផ្អាកកម្មការថាបនាការ
đồng bệnh nghị xu lực không cả chặt chẽ như cái nghị bảo quát quát trong sao sum lục bồ thiên chuỗi bệnh chẹt thà ta được thay sục sáp đàn ấy dương nông miền sáp đàn cả đại đệ tề đời xa thà miền sầm nào muối bảo họ khang mê vị anh đã chết bảo lục yên dưới sông mình ở miền sáp đàn cả thay sục này chẳng dương nhóm trong bản bờ miền đi sông bảo quát lục thiên Yang mereka semua nak som ni, hey, lok mesti bi antara ciri kafir dari lok yang seri, orang yang mereka bentuk mana tu l, pada mian nabi bi ka, semua nak som dah lok pe pon dengan tha, damna ka, samna ka, rik men tu samna ka dari tengai sok nuti, jam thom dah dari tengai sok yang man ayat kepih prom priang kiri hari dari kong kai damna ka, samna ka, yang men tu ti, lek lek je, kerana ini pisah, mui jam nuan dah dam ru. Đối chí cả bệnh chóp nơi cả sản đạp thật hay cảm xã thầy nào mối đâm bây ảo cả đó là các hội cột bàn vừa tờ lập từ lòng đời thàn vĩnh rứ cả này khá đối chí cả này này cái chấm là cả sản đạp sản đạp nẹ chùm niên rụm ní cư dương cư rung thư chạp bình ngày chăn thì đọc bởi mùi bằng tay bình ngày cả lòng tờ ní đời miền bà nhà hà sọc hợp hiếp đồng nàng thạp rìa nhạc đại chiến mới rúp cư lục mình miền ảo cả nông ca là đập hiệu nông ca chô lồng mộc Chủ rùm được khổng cài chấm đá ca xảm đá ca bán Đại tục gọt ở tuổi một tục được khổng cài rịp chóm ca Tăng thông đô đánh đáu như bố nạ chấm ní Nhưng hãy bàn chì ạ khám nạn bàn đám đá ca Pì thang ngày cả lòng bà hai Hãy chì tòm đá được khổng với xảm đá dương thuê buôn thang ngày Buôn thang ngày này dương thuê cả lòng mà chọp Chọp bàn này thang ngày chán ngày kia Ngày bút ngày bà khoa Hãy tờ nếp bê khẳng hàng mốc Ông chấm đá nâng khổng cách bà chung bà phía xa Rịp chóm cái chấm đá ca xạm đá ca Cứ rung nâng miền ca phá phá đô Bần tay bần tuyết nơi bì bì lý Tâm đạp xạm đá ca ní Bần đây thả buôn thang ngay rồi đáy Còn tế Ở miền chở lọ nơi khăn ông cả đá Bì bì nà môi nơi cả đá Xạm đá xạm đá xạm đá Đã mây ở giờ thang đập hiếp bì xù xá Hay miền ọc ca nông ca Sắc xa xoay nhu lúc rai chí điếu Ai cả xa đẹp bẹp bôn Nâng cái chấm đá Rồi còn mình bên bánh hai tí Chỉ ca kết ông nhầm ra miền bầm nông Nên không ca sợ đập, sợ khay cam, sợ khay Đã bị thật lỡ nơi thằng ngày sọc tiết Đói mù là hết Đối chồng bàn dùm điệp chân Cứ dương cổng thôi buồn thằng ngày Nên không sắp ra cạn, sắp ra ní Bên tế đại sao thân hợp hiếp Mình ông nói phá là dương ai thơ tam Cao bị phía để bàn cổng túc Nhưng hãy bàn chìa dương khát bị thằng ngày Kalau long ter, yang mana tu? Yang perasan bayang tu, ngai sok tiet mana itu? Nong sabar, ni yang tu ban tak bayang ngai tu. Hai kalu pih, nong kalu cuci sa sa, dapat pon sa tiet. Tiang luk, dapat chat le pong. Tam pain kah, kau kau mana itu? Yang mirip jam kau nong kalu dal dam nang, dapat kiri nong sa tiet nai cuci kalong mok. Yang tu perang perang kai dem rul, nai kalu pih ni ban lawa pasal nong mian perasan dapat hip. Let me begin, Mr. President, by saying that we follow the same procedure that the prosecution filed in trying to inform the trial chamber of the delay. And so now when I hear for the first time that the trial chamber wasn't notified, it would appear that perhaps the senior legal officer for the trial chamber, that is Susan Lamb, failed to communicate our response to the trial chamber. I have... Uh, I doubt that that was the case, but it may be, it may be a slip up. Uh, we first noticed, we got noticed that an email was sent by Mr. Smith to Susan Lamb informing of the situation. We were prepared to start on Monday without consulting the parties in a sense to see whether they actually agreed or disagreed. The trial chamber on its own essentially agreed to give the prosecution two days uh, extra to start. We find that totally appropriate in light of the circumstances because we do know that in preparing for a witness, especially an expert witness, it takes weeks and weeks 
uh, to prepare. And it's simply not, uh, it's almost impossible to have a second or third lawyer step up and take the place of the, of the uh, lawyer who is prepared. Immediately upon that, hearing that those two days were uh, delayed, there would be a two-day delay, and the possibility of having a hearing on Friday, uh, we immediately contacted the trial team, uh, the trial team through this, uh, uh, Susan Lamb, that is the senior legal officer, informing them, informing you, Your Honors, that Friday was not conducive to us. This was not an incident that we had caused. Uh, you could say it was force majeure in a sense. But nonetheless, uh, because of, of the, the, the pre-existing schedule, uh, that is Monday to Thursday, I had previously committed to doing a training for the International Bridges of Justice for some 30, some lawyers have already been uh, assigned to attend a two-day training. And because of that, and because of all the arrangements that had been made, it was virtually impossible for me to get them to reschedule the training in light of all of the logistics that had gone on. And there was an exchange of emails. Uh, and we have been waiting for ever since for a, uh, a particular decision. Now, I do have copies of the emails. I can certainly forward them to the trial chamber. We in the past have been criticized for directly contacting or copying the trial chamber because that may be perceived as a ex parte communication or a direct communication with the trial chamber. So we go through the proper channels. In this, in this instance, it would be virtually impossible uh, for me to, uh, to attend here on Friday. And in fact, I will not be attending here on Friday. If you do so decide, I, you know, we, and that's, we leave it up to you. Uh, I certainly will be here next week. I'll have the transcript, but I do wish to point out one thing. Were the trial chamber to say yes to the prosecution and no to the defense, it would be sending yet another signal that one party enjoys more rights than the others. This was a situation that was created by the prosecution, not by us. And so, uh, in all fairness, I would respectfully request that the trial chamber, particularly in light of the need of this particular witness, to perhaps uh, look at uh, all these documents because he is going to come under a great deal of fire uh, on cross exam uh, on, on examination uh, by us, or he's going to be asked specifically that he may even benefit that extra day of preparation because, uh, at least from his testimony today, it would appear that he wasn't expecting the sort of specific type of questioning that he's receiving. So we would respectfully request that we don't hold a hearing on Friday. We think it's fair, we think it's equitable, and uh, we think it's appropriate under the circumstances. If it's a matter of time and that we cannot lose any time, the trial chamber could have very well said to the prosecution, sorry, start on Monday. They could, you could have done that. You could have exercised your discretion. You chose not to. You chose to accommodate the prosecution. We're simply asking that uh, a slight accommodation to the defense in this one instance be granted. Thank you. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je serai très bref. Juste une observation, car vous avez parlé euh, de quatre jours euh, pour euh, le total de la déposition de M. Chandler, tandis que euh, il avait été question euh, dans les échanges de mails avec euh, Mme Lamb d'un maximum de cinq jours. Je voulais juste que, que ce soit dit, car c'est ici un mail du 7 juin 2012 à 10h45 euh, adressé au parti euh, qui nous en informe. Bien évidemment, c'est susceptible d'être plus court si nos questions euh, sont, sont limitées ou celles du procureur, mais je voulais juste rappeler que c'était un maximum de cinq jours qui avait été prévu.
Thank you, Mr. President. I'll be very brief in support of my uh, colleague, Mr. Carnavas. Um, as Mr. Carnavas has pointed out, when the prosecution asked for the, a delay by two days, no, nobody objected. We did certainly not object. We thought it was a reasonable request. Uh, considering the circumstances. As uh, Mr. Carnivals indicated, he promptly contacted the trial chamber with a recent request to not sit on Friday. Uh, it reached the parties, and it certainly uh, at least reached the civil parties because they made reference to it today, and I assume the prosecution received the same request. Um, so, again, Mr. Carnivals filed a prompt and recent request. And I think Mr. Um, Mingsari has the right to be represented by the Council of his choice on Friday. Uh, this time it doesn't affect us, but uh, your ruling will affect us in the future. Therefore, I uh, respect or I support the request uh, of the Mingsari team to not sit on Friday. បាទអរគុណដោយអង្គមរះគាត់បង្កល់ឃើញបញ្ហានេះថានឹងអាចកើតមានឡើងនៅក្នុងដំណើរការសម្ណាការនេះនឹងអាចលើកយកពីស្
จนจบเจ้าเอ็งสรีจบทั้งไงที่ดอกมวยใครมีตัวนายชนะปีบอลดอกปีบานกอดตุ่มกอลอัมพีอาการะรบบอเอ็งสรีเนี่ยไปเจงรบายการนี่เจงรบายการนู้นโดยนี่เอ็งสรีมีนาการะเวลมกเฮลฮอตปีเซ่ปีลังจันดาหนึ่งปมพอดอลระเพียบเอาอย่างกุยบานยูหายกบานพอดอลอนุสัตได้ท้าสมปทินอองจมเรียมิตาอันยัดพอดอลระเพียบเอาจนจบเจ้าสัมนาคาปีจมง่ายปีบรรทุกขังกระอมขนมเดียบปีดอกทั้งไงบรรทุกเตี้ยได้กิดจับปีไงดอกใบใครมีตัวน้าชนะปีปอนดอกปีดอกทั้งไงที่มาเผยปีใครมีตัวน้าชนะปีปอนดอกปีให้บักกิดเราดอกปีนี้คือระยะปีนุบานกระลองพอเตยบุญสัมปดาเฮยนี่คือให้พอลได้ดำเนินเอาลูกอินทรีบังฮันคลุนในขนมบรรทุกสัมนาคาในปรึกไงใส่สำหรับเจ้า